since uh, a few years, we started this post rehabilitation center to provide adapted sports and physical activities to persons with a physical disability. In a normal fitness room, you don't have the devices like this, but less accessible devices. Because I have a wheelchair, this is the best solution. It's very easy to reach, very easy to use, and it makes me flexible. I do love using her machines with uh, my patients. It's very easy to use. They all have a bracelet with their own program. They know exactly what to do. We don't need time to set up all those stuff. This helps to increase the volume of patients to the center, which is guided by one or two therapists. We can help uh, five, six, seven patients in one time. Also, the huge benefit of these equipment is uh, the way they work on air pressure. Yeah, it was new for me because it uses air. It is very nice because you can very easily adjust everything. It's easy. Frazier Rehab Institute's community fitness and wellness facility is far from being your run-of-the-mill gym. Our highly specialized health-promoting exercise facility is specifically designed for people with physical disabilities, including paralysis and stroke. The staff that work here understand what your issues are, uh, whether you have a spinal cord injury or a stroke or some other um, physical disability. They are used to working with people. They're knowledgeable about how to help people exercise. They have no fear about working with you. And you cannot get that at what might be a regular gym. By improving the health, quality of life, and functional ability of our patients, we can decrease the personal, economic, and social costs associated with poor health. PARC, the Physical Activity Research Center, is for physically disabled individuals. My name is Kyle Jenny, and I'm the first PARC participant in history. Ever since becoming a paraplegic due to a biking accident, Kyle has had a desire to stay active, which made Kyle and PARC a perfect fit when it launched nearly four years ago. Although started as a research project to track the effect of physical activity on people with spinal cord injuries, PARC has developed into more than just a gym. So if you're in a wheelchair, you can wheel up to a machine, you can place your electronic card in, has all your information in there, you put this card into every different machine that there is, and it will know who you are, it will set up your weights for you. Once we come through there, we're going to go into the fitness uh, weight room. Everything in here as well, totally accessible. Now actually, calling this a weight room may be a bit of a misnomer because you don't see any weights here. Instead, this is all controlled through compressed air. Uh, these are all state-of-the-art uh, pieces of equipment that are easily adaptable between able-bodied people and people who have physical challenges. Down here to demonstrate some of this is our pal Tom Holden. Tom is Vice President of Operations here. Tom, tell us a little about the equipment and how people use that. Hey, I'm sitting at the pec deck right now and uh, what that does is it works the upper body but this piece of equipment that I'm sitting at right now is fully accessible and fully adaptable. Uh, when I finish the exercise, I'll actually take the chair out and I'll show how a wheelchair can actually be moved into it. So, uh, very easy to use. Uh, it can be run on smart card technology, but it also can be run um, just by programming uh, while you're sitting in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to program the weight and you can see that it's moving right now. I'll program it. I'm not going to put very much weight on it. Um, and then I'll go through the motions and do the workout. Pretty professional. <laughs> so I've done the workout and I can now release all of the compressed air. You may be able to hear that the compressed air is actually releasing from the machine. What's really nice about these machines is that if you've done your entire workout, uh, you don't drop weights or anything. It lets it down slowly for you. So now I'm going to get up and I'm just going to remove the chair very easily and a wheelchair can roll into this and it's 100% accessible. There's only 700 people worldwide that have got what I've got so I was very unlucky. 
it was a very severe stroke was, was part of it, part of the vasculitis. And um, I, couldn't, I couldn't move my left side of my body. Being able to use all the facilities at our disposal here at Monty has really helped his progress. Uh, we've got the HOR equipment which he uses, the hydrotherapy pool and the physio gym with the treadmill. Uh, the combination of all those three have really helped to take his rehab to the next level. Oh, the physio, the treatment is excellent. And then when they got those new her machines in, I really jumped at the opportunity to use them. I'm now walking, uh, after I've had a session with Andrew, I'm walking without the stick, just with a weight belt around my waist. When I look at my progress today, I feel really proud of what I've achieved and what I'm going to achieve by keeping going.